Welcome to Features in 5, our series of 5-minute lessons about enhancements to Penny, our investment partnership accounting software. In this lesson, we'll explore our Penny Converter application, which enables you to import data that doesn't match the Penny data requirements. In the next 5 minutes, you'll learn about the converter and how to use it to manipulate data so it can be uploaded into Penny. This way, you no longer have to manually modify those data files. You'll also see how to create a process to monitor a folder for new files to be uploaded and automatically converted. So, let's get started. The first thing to know is that the converter is a standalone Penny application, which means you access it from the converter folder in the Penny directory on your computer. Your first step in using the converter is to create a specification. This defines the format of the file being uploaded and also defines the steps needed to convert the file data into formats suitable for Penny. So, let's look at the information that goes into creating a specification. You specify columns for the data that will be uploaded and output into Penny. The columns can be either from the import file converter-only columns, or output-only columns, and they can be created for dates, numbers, amounts, or text. You also create steps, which are a series of actions that the converter performs on the data before it is uploaded into Penny. These actions ensure the data matches the Penny requirements. There are four types of steps you can create, depending on the action you want the converter to perform on the data. These are a delete step, where data rows are deleted from the file if they meet a defined condition, a move step, where data is moved, appended to the beginning, or appended to the end of a column, a lookup step, where columns are filled using a pre-populated lookup table to either replace existing columns or to populate new columns, and a parse step, where SQL functions may be used to modify data. You can also specify that heading information from a file being uploaded becomes part of the uploaded data. To help with identifying the information required for file uploads, the converter offers some predefined specification templates you can choose. These include templates for benchmark values, contacts, interest rates for the fee calculator, investors, journal entries, and trial balances. Once your specification is created, you can run it to upload a file for conversion. You have two ways to run the specification. You can click the Run button on the specification screen, which lets you select the file to upload from a computer or network. Or, you can run the converter from the command line as an executable file and specify the file to upload as a parameter. One really helpful administrative function of the converter is the ability to create service jobs. A service job defines a computer folder that the converter monitors for new files to upload. A service job also defines what specification to run on those files deposited in that folder. Using a service job saves you time, since all the files placed in the specified folder are automatically uploaded and converted. So, now you know that the converter is a really useful application to manipulate data so it can be uploaded into Penny. You know that you create specifications to tell the converter how to manipulate the data. You also know about some specification templates that can help you with this. And, you know you can create service jobs to tell the converter to monitor folders for files to upload and what specification to run on those files. So that's a lot of information to get you started with your file conversions. And that wraps up our overview of the Penny Converter application. If you'd like more information, please contact your Client Relationship Manager. You can also visit the Penny Help file at any time by pressing F1 on your keyboard or selecting Help from the window menu. Until next time, thanks for watching our Features in 5.